pose, stretching the groins, opening the middle back, but not stretching, not squashing the lower back. Middle back in, groin stretch, and then the down dog, it's this upper back stretch. So not this, but this. And then eventually from the shoulder forward, elbow up, you lengthen the spine, and then you can combine the two together, something like this. I create the shape in the back. Up dog, down dog. Like this. Sit down. So I often finish my practice with a twisting action. So actually what I'd like to do is just finish you off the same way that I would do like a class in the style that I teach. And we stretch the spine forward and backward, left and right, up and down. So legs hip width apart, bring the fingertips to touch. Then from that position, activate the toes, lift the outer feet. Pull up the kneecaps, bend the knees slightly. Squeeze the heels inwards, lightly tone the buttocks. Don't overdo, don't be over hard. Pull the navel in, push the sitting bone body weight forward. Ribs in, kidneys in. Expand upper back outward, collarbone upward. Lengthen the back of the neck, soften the face. Shoulder down and forward, elbow up and forward. Face soft, eyes calm. Bring down your arms and turn the shoulders in. Stretch the wrists, turn the shoulders out, point the fingers down. Bring your arms forward, your hips forward. Stretch the back of the body like the downward facing dog pose. Then raise the throat forward, chin up without losing the stretch in the back. Chin to throat, bring the hips forward, the arms forward and down, so you stretch the back of the body, stretch the nerves of the wrists and the hand, and then bring your arms forward and up. Now grip with your toes, squeeze in your thighs, look down, and stay there or raise the heels up. Squeeze your thighs together. If there was a click, it means you didn't raise enough and squeeze enough. Then push your hips forward, shoulders forward, come down halfway is enough. Only with very strong hips and thighs would you come down fully. And then again, stretch the wrists and the thighs, and the wrists rather. Push the hips forward, push the shoulder forward, lengthen the back of the body as you raise up. Then slowly straighten the knees and lower the heels. Push the hips forward, shoulders forward. Come down and stretch the wrists and the fingers. Then push the hips forward, shoulder forward, lengthen the back of the body as your arms lift. Fingers stretch. Straighten the legs, push the hips and shoulder forward, then bring your arms down and forward. Interlock the hands and push the hips forward and the arms up, look down, grip with the toes. Ribs in, tail under, shoulder forward, take the armpits forward, elbow back, stay or lift out a foot and raise the heels. If there's a click, it means you didn't squeeze your thighs in enough. Then from that position, Bring your heels down and arms forward like the plank. Push the hips forward and up in front of the collarbone, shoulder down and forward above the tailbone. Stay here or squeeze thighs, raise the heels. Stay here or squeeze your thighs and push the hips closer to the heels, the chest between your thighs. Squeeze your thighs, then slowly come back up. If you came up fast, it means you went down too far probably. Lower the heels, then interlock the hands behind the back. Move the collarbone up, the tailbone down, bend the middle back in. Shoulders together and down, elbow up and back. Stay or raise the heels. Stay or bend the knees further, eventually hips to heels. Squeeze your thighs and slowly come back up. Lower the heels. Then interlock the hands in front again and push the hips forward. The arms forward, lengthen the back of your body and without shortening the back of the body, lift the left armpit, lift the right heel. Then stay there or move the hips to the left, the ribs to the ceiling and stretch the mat with your feet. Left armpit forward, right sitting bone under, push the hips to the right. Stretch the back of the body and lift the left hip and right ribs. So you stretch the right side, then move the hips to the right, the ribs to the ceiling. Stretch the mat with your feet. Push the hips to the left, come up. Lengthen the back of the body. Then rotate to the right side without shortening the right side. Then take the shoulders to twist to the right, but turn your belly button to twist to the left. 
Then come back to the middle, lengthen the back of the body, rotate to the left side. Don't shorten the left side, left sitting bone down and forward. Then shoulders to left, navel to the right. Come back to the middle, shoulder forward and up. Release and come to sit onto the floor. Then cross-legged position. Warm you up a little bit like this. Let's finish with a twisting position. These are all active movements. You're having to do it with your muscles rather than bending. Feel the difference between an active movement and a passive movement. With the cross-legged position, try to take your left hand on your right knee, your right hand behind you. Now with a passive spine, use your left arm to twist you to the right. Then come back to the middle. With a passive spine, take right hand on left knee, left hand behind you, and twist to the left. Now come back to the middle. Now do what you did standing up, but prepare with your toes spread, outer foot to the knee, tighten the back of the knee, and position the top of the hips above the sitting bones. Then, like we did when we stood, when we did the standing poses, push down with your feet, lift up the inner thighs and squeeze your legs together. Top of hips above sitting bones. Now, make the upper back round out slightly, bend the elbows and turn the shoulders in. Now, press with your feet, squeeze in your thighs, and then rotate the spine actively to your right side. Keep the muscles active that took you to a twist to the right, and with those muscles still active, still trying to stand up from this position, put left hand on the right knee, right hand behind you. Look over the right shoulder and have the right ear lifted, chin in. Keep your shoulders turning to the right. Turn just the head to the left. Now make the left ear lift, chin in, and move your left armpit down and to the right side. Move your belly button to the left side. And this gives an oppositional type of twisting mula bandha. Then exhale fully, hold out if you can. Lift up, round out the upper back, and twist to your left side. Lift actively, press through the feet. Take right hand on the left knee, left hand behind you, left ear lifted, chin in. Then head to the right, right ear lifted, chin in. Move the shoulders to your left, the navel to the right. Then exhale fully and take the hands back behind you. Push the top of the hips backwards. Bend the middle of your back inwards and take throat forward, chin up. Chin, chin to throat. Stay there or if it's safe to do so, go forward and bring shoulders down, ribs up. Raise throat forward, chin up. Bring the head down. Push through the feet, sit back up and bring top of hips back. Middle back in, throat forward, chin up, chin to throat, and then tighten the armpits. Press the hands on the floor if you can. Grip with the fingers and lift up the hips, hips forward and up. Lift the upper back like the plank, lift the chin up. Squeeze the heel of the hand inwards, chin to throat, push up higher, lower back down, and